Okay, Hell Divers, we're back again, and we've got a massive Galactic War update where High Command has given us some instructions that's going to lead to the notorious anti tank mines. So, we're going to dive on into it today alongside some announcements and chatters going from Sham Jorjani, some of which are a little bit concerning, but we'll see exactly where that one's going. If you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on, it'd be greatly appreciated. And on top of that, check out our sponsor gamer subs the company that offers various gaming energy drinks snacks tea and other gaming accessories their goal is to provide esports athletes and gamers alone with a healthier and effective option to enhance their performance it's absolutely incredible over there they've got loads of new stuff dropping and the shaker cups are absolutely to die for so make sure you go and check those out the link is in the description and use code cloudplays at checkout for a cheeky discount with that being said let's take a look at what's happening inside of the game right now so we've had a new update on the major order and this one is a brutal one we're going to take a look at it whether we're going to achieve it or not we'll have to wait and see but as you can see right here an incoming message from super earth as we failed the last one stating the valiant sacrifice of millions of our most well-trained and brave heroes was not enough to pry free the collectivist grip death grip on our stolen worlds the automaton have now deployed orbital cannons across their entire higher domain another metallic thorn in the side of liberty and the pilot shortages have been replenished and additional training will limit further impacts to extraction times so even so hell diver missions to destroy these cannons will remain critical to the war in perpetually now when we take a look at what's happening next we have got a new major order and as you can see on screen this one is by no means a joke we have got three days and 13 hours to do quite something this says right here high command is conducting an efficiency review of currently available mine stratagems if the targeted number of enemies is not eliminated anti-tank mine production will not be ordered now is this a good thing is this a bad thing the number on its own is absolutely ridiculous and probably not too obtainable as you can see right here we have got 1.5 billion kills to take this is absolutely incredible and i don't really understand how it is that that's going to work we've got 21,000 in draco and obviously across on the automaton sector it is looking to be about the same we've got around 19,000 in the emir and 6.8 thousand in the trigon sector with the personal order of just kill five the notorious kill five has returned but with 1.5 billion on the clock to take out it's likely that you guys are probably going to kill them five regardless of the matter so bounce around automatons and the terminates and it'll be quite interesting to see whether we actually do this one or not or whether the community decide that actually we don't want those anti-tank mimes and the meme continues and we forcefully don't collect them 1.5 billion Although the numbers right now are a little bit slow, it'll be interesting to see whether we can actually get that one done or not. But moving into some news in the scene right now, it seems to be an interesting feature. We can see that Sham Jorjani has been, again, quite talkative on Twitter, and it may have worked to his negative this time round. Although some cool ideas coming from the community that he obviously had asked for. After he made a post on Reddit that we covered in the last video, he wanted to hear about fun progression ideas and he posted up a tweet with a retweet on it stating best idea yet expendable bayonets and this is something that i would love to bloody see this is something that we've been talking about for a very long time we've wanted melee weapons for the longest time and bayonets has always been a conversation that we've had on the forefront and something that we have been asking for for a very very long time now knowing that the game has been out for months on end it's probably about time they start putting something into the rankings that we've actually asked for even just once Nonetheless, though, we had a tweet come out here from Lord of Flam Cylinders, and this one was quite cool, actually. I quite like the idea of this. Stim Variants. He states right here, Shams, I just saw of something. Stim Variants. For example, Combat Stims, which reduces recoil for X amount of time and reduces damage taken by a certain amount. And Mobility Stims, which increases movement and increases your max stamina bar by a certain amount for X seconds. 
Now, this is a pretty cool concept, and we can actually see that he goes in for a little bit more, as he has the idea of focus stims, which reduces weapon sway, you can reload the chamber faster, and are resistant to stuns. You can apply these to teammates, and could replace the default stims, which would encourage having medics, and could pave a path to introducing medical equipment, such as a stim gun secondary, as well as a possible stratagems for things such as portable healing stations that will slowly heal Helldivers in an area around the machine, which we've seen in quite a few other games before. But Sham stated, pretty cool, I think. And I do actually agree with this one. I think that this one is actually a really, really good idea and something that they should lean into. I think that this is something that we would really get some benefit from, although we'd need to see some more content come soon because realistically, it's becoming a little bit dampened. We are about four days away from the new big major update and this is hopefully going to make a bit of a change for it if there's not a drastic change in gameplay then we are not going to see the rebirth of this but for right now we've got so many people still playing around 50 odd thousand it's not an amazing number but it is still enough to be able to do what it is that we need to do now one thing that was not amazing and one thing that we don't want to see was a comment that we have right here now we had a full thread which we're not going to break down fully but somebody stated that they wanted hell divers 2 as a subscription that was required stated it gladly pay 15 dollars per month if it meant he was allowed at scaling up the team and releasing more content on a regular most of my friends have stopped playing because there was a lack of quality of life fixes and new content across the board and i think i can speak for everybody when i state that a lot of people have stopped playing for that main reason and for those who are still playing you feel like you're playing for no reason at all and it's a little bit frustrating to know that you're coming out with zero medals each week because realistically you You've got nothing else to spend it on you're maxed out on everything and it's a bit of a nightmare for you and i fully understand that now shams actually responded to this saying that um maybe we should let him cook on this comment he stated that the trick with monetization is not one size fits all for some subscription is terrible for others great i think you need to develop them in tandem with the players and let them tell you what works somebody responded with a brutal comment saying as much as i'm willing to support this great game provided there is no more f ups like in may not all of us are swimming in cash for monthly subscriptions gaming is an increasingly expensive hobby and voluntarily suggesting to pay even more is borderline mental madness and he responded to this guy stating i hear you this is why i have a model where the core game itself is continuously expanded even if you never buy a war bond with real money some can slash want to spend more and if they are happy to do so that makes all the easier for us to add more stuff for free in the base game now this is 100 percent true and that is a very solid point although what we're seeing as the issue here is that weapons are of a slow birth on this and you kind of have to put money into it to be able to use weapons the things that come through are things like stratagems and that is pretty much all that we see come in if you want new armor sets or new weapons you have to put money into the game so as much as i do agree with what he's stating he's not really stating the truth here at all content is developed into this game for free although it's not content that's going to help you guys in the game at all when we've got war bonds that are the only way to obtain new weapons this means that if you are not wanting to put money into the game you are still sat on the same stuff that you had from the free war bond that's just my honest opinion that's the honest truth hopefully we see a new free war bond come this next big escalation update that we're due to see in a few days but we'll have to wait and see let me know what you guys are thinking via the comment section below but a bit of an l take coming from sham Jorjani in my personal opinion and hopefully we don't see this come into the play i would quite like to see a dlc come into the play with a big load of updates and loads of changes and if we have to pay for a dlc i think that we're all happy to do so the monthly subscription is definitely not in my books thank you so much again for watching guys if you haven't already smash the like button subscribe post notifications turned on appreciate you all and as always i'll see you in the clouds